Hi there. In this video, we are going to look at a visual capture solving tool, TezzerCap. It has two primary components. One is its OCR engine, which is Tezzeract OCR. So what Tezzeract OCR does is it retrieves the text from the downloaded captures. It is one of the finest open source OCR engines available and it lives on Google code. The second most important component is the image pre-processing engine it has. So this allows you to remove the noise from the captures. Like, let's say for example a capture has some random lines inserted into it or some, uh, some, some random spray noise added to it. So this image pre-processing engine could allow you to remove that noise and get a cleaner text that you can in turn feed to, a uh, cleaner image that you can in turn feed to. Tesseract OCR for text retrieval. Let's look at its functioning. Uh, this is a place where you provide the URL. So I type in the URL and this is the exact URL from where the text is going, uh, image is going to be retrieved. So here I have uh, an internal host running with different type of captures and I will initiate the test on one of those which is a simpler one and here you can increase the number of captures you want to solve and download so I'm going to set it to 5 and I'm going to hit start so Tezzer cap will start retrieving the captures from the remote server solving them and displaying the solutions so here on the top you see the capture and on the bottom you see the solution to the capture that Tezzer cap was able to retrieve. Now here we can do the statistical analysis. We can check capture. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is correct. This is correct. And this also is correct. So we can mark them as correct. Then for the wrong ones, we can mark them as incorrect. And then we can ask Tether Cap to show the statistics. So here we can see that it was able to solve around 80% of captures. For example, if you are interested to solve more than 12 captures or which can come in one page, TezzerCap can allow you to go between different pages with the help of these four navigation buttons. So two are here to the right and two to the left. So you can use these to navigate through the various pages of the downloaded captures. Now let's look at some other features that Tether Cap offers. When I started with the tool, it had multiple OCR engines, but over time uh, I eliminated one them one by one and only Tesseract OCR was available. So you see the radio box with Tesseract OCR. This tool also allows you to provide custom character set. For So why is that useful? Let's say you have a capture and you know that the captcha is going to be only with the lowercase characters. In that scenario, what you can do is, you can uncheck these two boxes and what Tezzercap is going to do is, it's going to create a configuration file for Tezzeract on the runtime, which is going to have the allowed characters. So let's say you have a captcha and it has only lowercase characters. Now when you limit the character set to only lowercase, Tether Act has a lesser character set to look for the possible match. And when you have a lesser character set, it increases the accuracy of the OCR engines. So that is what the purpose of this these checkboxes here is. So if you do a checkbox selection here for special characters, Tether Act would try to look for special characters like ampersand, add the rate, not, and all the special characters that are uh, all the typeable special characters. So if you do this and we try to solve these, this capture again, all the solutions are going to be wrong. So you see uh, everything is wrong because it is only looking for lowercase and special characters, right? Then you see a couple of more things. So proxy settings, it's, uh, I believe easy to understand. It allows you to choose a web proxy to use for retrieving captures then you have a couple of things like follow redirects and image pre-processing 
So follow redirects allows tether cap to do a redirect traversal. So by default, tether cap will not follow the redirects. If you enable this, tether cap will try to re, uh, follow the redirect, retrieve the captcha from the redirected URL, which is normally the case with many implementations. So you go to a image, say forward slash captcha.php that would redirect you to image.php which will in turn give you the real captcha so let me show you how it really helps us 302 and if i do a r302 here i'm going to get a response which is saying move temporarily so in this scenario i will have to check the follow redirects and start the test so that it is able to follow the redirects and then retrieve captures. All right. And then there is HTTP request headers. So what this allows you to do is provide custom headers. A lot of time what happens is the web applications or the servers would require a referrer header or some cookie. So you can provide those headers and every request from that point onwards will have that header included. For example, say www.test.com and this referral will be appended to every outgoing request from this point onwards or you can have a cookie or any other header that you want to add to the request. All right. Now one very, uh, then there is this box which is enable image pre-processing. This would allow you to put your image pre-processing engine in line with the CAPTCHA. Uh, OCR engine. So let me tell you how it helps you. So let's say for example, there is this captcha that I have, I'm going to reduce the count to one. This captcha, uh, you can right click on the captcha, you see there's a lot of noise and tether cap is not going to be able to extract the text out of this because of the noise in captcha. So you right click on the image, send it to image preprocessor and then you go to image preprocessor you can perform the entire preprocessing like you remove the noise which will in turn allow you to solve the captcha so once you remove the noise you verify the captcha here using the solve button and then once you are satisfied you can enable the image preprocessing when you do this every image that comes through would be first preprocessed and then it would be given to the OCR engine that helps you increase the accuracy and get better results. Uh, more about the, we will discuss more about the image preprocessing in the next video. Thank you for your time.